Welcome, my friends, to a new episode of TOEFL ITP Insider. And in this episode, we're going to talk about adjective clause connectors. Now, first, let's talk about clauses. And as we said, a clause must have a subject and a verb. And when I say an adjective clause, it means that this clause would be used as an adjective. And in the normal structure of English language, adjectives are used to describe nouns. And as we clarified in the previous episodes, we know that nouns might come in three different positions. So sometimes nouns are subjects, and sometimes nouns are objects, and sometimes nouns are objects of prepositions. So let's have a look at the structure of adjective clauses and how adjective clause connectors would be tested in the TOEFL ITP exam. Let's go. And here we are, my friends. And let's start with this example. And, and it goes as follows. I have got a quote from the book that I wanted to read. Now, when we look at the book, we know that this is an object of the preposition from. It's an object of a preposition. And as I said before, nouns can be objects of prepositions. And this object of the preposition from is actually described by an adjective clause. Let's look at the part highlighted in green that I wanted to read. So it's not any book. It's the book that I wanted to read. So that I wanted to read is an adjectival clause. Now, when we look inside this adjectival clause, what do we see? Let's have a look. We see that, which is an adjective clause connector. And then we see I, which is a subject. And then we see wanted, which is a verb. So inside the adjective clause, there are three things. The adjective clause connector, the subject, and the verb. Now let's move to another example. And here we are, example two. I am reading the book that my friend recommended. Now let's look at the part highlighted in yellow, the book. And obviously it's an object. An object of what? It's an object of the verb read. And again, nouns are used as objects. But this object, this noun is actually described by an adjective clause. Look at the part in green that my friend recommended. So it's not any book. It's the book that my friend recommended. And that my friend recommended is an adjectival clause. Now, when we look inside the adjectival clause, what do we see? We see that an adjective clause connector. And we see my friend a subject. And we see recommended. That's a verb. Fine. Another example. Example number three. And let's read it together. The book that I am trying to remember was possibly written in the 70s or 80s. Hmm. Now let's, let's have a look at the yellow part. The book. And the book here is a subject. It's a noun used as a subject. But wait a minute. This noun used as a subject is actually described by the green part, by an adjectival clause that I'm trying to remember. So it's not any book. It's the book that I am trying to remember. And when we look inside the adjectival clause, we see the same things. That, an adjective clause connector. I, a subject, and am trying, a verb. 
Now it is time to see how adjective clause connectors are tested in a TOEFL ITP exam. Let's go. And here we are. An MCQ question. Let's have a look at this. And it goes as follows. The letter wrote on this occasion to her sister will prove what she felt. Now a quick analysis of what we see. We notice that wrote is actually a verb. Fine. But wait a minute. We have another verb. Look at this. Will prove. Now, now there is a mistake in here. We cannot have two verbs without a connector. So this is the first thing that we're looking for. We're looking for a connector. But wait a minute. Now, we know that the letter is a subject, but it can be only a subject for one verb. So the letter will prove but it cannot be a subject for road, which means that we're looking for a what? We're looking for a connector and subject. So let's have a look at the first option, because that's only a connector. We need a connector and subject. Since that's only a connector. Was, that's another verb. We have two verbs already. We don't need a third. And finally, which she? Mm which can be a connector and she can be a subject for the verb wrote. Now, this is the correct answer then. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, let's move to correct or incorrect. And let's have a look at the first sentence here. Hmm. Our ongoing series of webcasts, which we started a month ago, they will be continuing all the way through November. So let's analyze it now. And we say that which we started a month ago, this is an adjectival clause. Is it correct? Let's look inside it. Which is a clause connector? Well, okay. Well, we subject started verb. So yeah, our adjectival clause is correct. It has the three elements in there. Wonderful. Now let's try to read the sentence without the adjectival clause. Our ongoing series of webcasts, they will be continuing all the way through November. So, so we say our ongoing series of webcasts, hmm, this one is a subject. Fine. So we have a subject, but wait a minute. What about this one? That's also a subject. Now, this can be correct. We cannot have two subjects in one sentence. Because my friends, inside the adjectival clause, we have we, which is the subject of started already. So why do we need two subjects for the verb will be continuing? Now that's wrong. And in order to make this correct, we need to remove they. Then we read the sentence. Our ongoing series of webcasts will be continuing all the way through November. Fine. That's correct now. Now let's read this example. The place that she adores. Now let's analyze it. That she adores. That is an adjectival clause. And it is a correct one. Because it has the three elements, that, an adjective clause connector, she, a subject, adores, is a verb. But wait a minute. She is the subject of adores. What about the place? It's a subject that doesn't have a verb. Now that is a problem. Now let's look at the correct version. Oh, the place that she adores. Hmm is the live animal exhibits of vultures, snakes, alligators, eagles, turtles, and more. Now, the main, the most important part is is, because is, is the verb of the place. Fine, fine, fine. Another example. Correct or incorrect. 
I met the teacher whom described to me in the campus. Now let's analyze it. Hmm, whom described to me? That seems like an adjectival clause. But is it correct? Let's look for the three elements. We've got whom, that is the connector. We've got described, that is the verb, but we don't have a subject. That is a problem. Now, what we need is actually a subject. So, in order to correct it, let's have a look at the coming version. I met the teacher whom you described to me in the campus. So, my friends, in this episode, we talked about adjective clause connectors. And we said that an adjective clause connector would describe a noun. And a noun can be a subject, an object, or an object of a preposition. And inside this adjective clause, we have three elements. We have the clause connector, we have the subject, and we have the verb. Thank you so much for watching this episode from TOEFL ITP Insider. And see you again, my friends. Bye-bye. And hey, don't forget, I'll be down there in the comments. So if you have any question, leave it and I'll be responding to you. Bye-bye.